Welcome back to the Forever Runner Method Success Path. This is video three of the five-part series on, on the Forever Runner Method and how it gets you from where you are right now to where you want to be uh, in, in the next 90 days or so. So today uh, I'm going to talk about key number two, which is called build. So uh, now that we've got our, our, our fueling and diet set up from key number one, uh, key number two, we're, we're, we're going to work on our actual running. And um, I, I use the, the Maffetone method style training, uh, which is uh, counterintuitive to the way we've been uh, brought up uh, about run training uh, for many years. And uh, it's this, this whole thing with no gain without pain, uh, you, you, you know, isn't necessary. And uh, this is a proven method that uh, has worked for thousands of athletes over the last 30 years. And uh, what I've done, <coughs> is I've, I've tweaked it specifically for us older runners over 50 uh, because the, it, it's a little bit different for us than it is when you're at a, a younger age uh, using this method. So, um, so what, we'll, what, we, what we do in this key number two build, uh, uh, step four, I, I call jog and, and that's where that's where we'll uh, introduce you to the MAFTO method. Uh, we'll, we'll get your, uh, your MAF heart rate established, uh, uh, figure, figure out, uh, uh, you know, if that's at the standard uh, MAF rate, if that's where your pace should be or if it should be different. And I've got a couple of different approaches uh, as, as far as how, how to set that, that correct pace and uh, and also in this section we'll we'll kind of set up your personal personalized training plan uh, for for going forward now as you may as you may know um, the other the other real key especially for us older runners is is having adequate rest and recovery uh, between our trainings. So in step number five, rest, that's, that's where uh, we'll, we'll talk about, uh, uh, I'll talk about sleep, uh, go, go give you some suggestions on, 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 on sleeping because that's, that's where everything gets rebuilt while you're asleep. So it's, it's very important uh, that you treat your sleep seriously. And then, then we'll talk about uh, uh, how you should, uh, how you know if you're recovered by uh, by doing a morning check of your heart rate or or uh, heart rate variability if if that's what um, uh, uh, you know if you're interested into that and and then uh, how how to recover after uh, after training. So uh, the, the recovery part of your training is probably even more important than, uh, than the, uh, oops, let's go back, uh, than the, the run training because without, without proper recovery, uh, it's very easy for you to, to create chronic overtraining uh, which will lead to uh, more muscle pain, muscle imbalances, and in injury. So, um, so that's that's the importance of rest. And and even though even though this is uh, low heart rate training is you might call slow running. Um, uh, there there is a there is a role for sprinting, but uh, compared to 
uh, maybe what you've learned in the past about, you know, doing intervals on the track, um, uh, hill repeats and uh, 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 temple runs, uh, you know, those, those have their place. But when, when you're building up your base training, uh, there's a way to incorporate speed training uh, again, with without the uh, no pain, no gain uh, philosophy being involved. So, um, so if we talk about you know when and how to do sprint sessions uh, the the right way, so that uh, through this whole build process, you're not only building your aerobic capacity, which will drive your running. Uh, even if you're racing events, uh, but you also be able to maintain your speed as as you get older. So <clears throat> that's that's uh, that's phase or key number two of the Forever Runner method uh, uh, build. So in the in the next video of the series, video number four, uh, I'll I'll talk about uh, key number. Three, move.